to Dodger Stadium. We've got baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Shohei Otani. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, off look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And now the DH, Brendan Donovan. The pitch just the missed. First pitch, one o'clock. The 1 0. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. One ball, one strike. Aye. Swings through that one for strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That's the first down. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Otani, the former rookie of the year, he throws a slurve, a four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. One out, base is empty. Out to short. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw. He's in safely and now there's a runner at first. Runner on at first with one gone. Lars Newtbar. Next up for the Cardinals. That one way outside. And that's ball one. Kicks and fires. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. Goldie over at first with one away. There goes the runner. Big stock center field. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there safely. Back-to-back -back singles, you often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Edge of the zone, call the strike, and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. into center base hit and they'll score first it's one zip here's the throw pulls him to third safely as a run scores on the play mission accomplished there as he picks up the rbi to give him the lead good extension on that swing took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle he let it travel just enough runners at the corners here one away and now the veteran catcher wilson Contreras. And that one upstairs. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Rudders are at the corners, one away. There's a swing and a drive. Long run on his horse. 
And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's Nolan Gorman. There's the strike. Two on, one out. That one fouled off. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Left-hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And a pitch. Boots it. Now the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Gold opportunity right here. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Bird gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters. And more recent years but with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate having a good grip on the baseball those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising even though they're not but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate so very difficult to get the barrel on Tommy Edmond up to bat next lays off for a ball Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And they get Edmund for the out. And that's the third out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Cardinals two and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in L.A., today's starting pitcher, Sonny Gray. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Dave. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Mookie Betts in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And he deals. And that one fouled off.
The shortstop takes the ball. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Goldie makes the grab one away. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning, everything shifts and you find yourself in the driver's seat. Freddie Freeman in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Fouled off left side. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. 3-2 now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Payoff pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. Left field. Walker sizes this one up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Batting third. The catcher. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And there's a strike. Two out spaces empty. to third. Play made. That ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here to nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Here's a speed threat. Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn. Here comes a pitch. All right, Cindy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. There he goes down looking. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Next is the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Thank you. 
Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. Bounce to the left side. Nope, that's and that's out. just foul. One down, base is empty. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Reached on an infield single his first time. There's a strike up high. Going one. All one's the count. Now a screamer into the outfield. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. But they're on top two, nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the second. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncie. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog Ooh, is getting that? heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And the righty deals. On the ground. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and it's a leadoff double for their first hit of the game. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now, James Outman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. With the tying run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. Fastball right back to the mound. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Fastball for a strike. 4-1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Man at second. That's the ball. One ball they try to get him now. to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Muncie stands at second with two gone. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. At the belt and fires. And that's in the dirt. him swinging one left for LA they trail things here to nothing mm -hmm. 
And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning, now up for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Newtbar. The pitch. One chase that time. Next Eight. offering is in for a strike. To third. Into the outfield. Base hit. So runner aboard to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Nolan Arenado. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Runner on the goal. And there's a foul ball. The 01. Hey. This guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Hey. Not a miss. Struck him out. One out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, Clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Up and in. And it's 1-2. and two. Man at first, one away. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two out. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now a chance for Nolan Gorman. He's 0 for 1. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Play it inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The cards leave one, but they hold the two nothing lead. Jason Hayden. And the right hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Right down to shoot. And the count is 0 2. 
goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. That one, one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. That's inside. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Gavin Lux stands in here, takes ball one low. A line to kick the pitch. And that is in for a strike. And the count even at one. And there's a curve through for a strike. The Cards leading by two here in the last half of the third. That's nope. inside. That's two and two. And a swing and a miss. Two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Yeah. Here's Mookie Betts. First time up was a pop out. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. There's a strike to Mookie. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. That one is absolutely belted. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. So, man aboard, Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Tying run at the plate. Yeah. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. It misses. It's a strikeout. So the Dodgers leave one. They're still down. It's two zip. Out of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker. Otani back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Cardinals doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push yep, a couple of runs out. across to score as well. And here it comes. And Open. another ball. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Pitch misses there. Three balls, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. And 
And the right hander deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Got it. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And here comes Tommy Edmond. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. In for a strike. Going to one. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Solid double down the line, and that was a pretty decent pitch that he just turned on. Not really out over the plate. It was inside, but he was more than ready to get that bat through the zone. One out, runner at second. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Pickoff throw. And okay. back on a dive. Swing and a miss. Oh and one. Man at second. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. Got him. That's out number two. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's the bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. And first offering is fouled off. Edmund at second with two down. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. Out of here. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4 nothing. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. At this level, you got to be good. Sometimes you got to be a little lucky. That was a pretty nasty pitch. Sinker on the outside corner, but he did a great job of covering it, and he hit the ball out of the park. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. One for two. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. Top half of inning number four. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the fourth, Lead and a batter now, Will Smith. The, the Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's inside. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. The 1-1. One, one. Swing it a foul straight back.
Here's a one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. That's ball two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's a 2 2. That's out to center field. Edmund in position. Corrals it. And there's one away. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Muncie batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And he'll one. Late on that fastball. No ball, two strikes. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball that one inside. almost got him. Fouls it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. And now the count is even. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. James Outman, the next to hit, rounded out his first time. That ball. one misses, and that is ball Count one. one. Oh. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Dodgers down in order. They're down 4 nothing. New inning getting started and stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newtbar. Lars Newtbar. The pitch. Just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering one upstairs. Ball. One ball, one strike. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Damn. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. 
the catch at number 40. Wilson. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. And that one fouled off. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Redbirds down quietly. They lead 4 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. Slapped foul. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Foul ball there. And now one and two. Up the middle, win. Whips it to first on the run. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Chris Taylor now. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. That misses the zone. One and one. Wouldn't chase that time. And a pitch. And it's even up. And it skips into dirt. Well struck left field. Walker going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Yeah, it's a really nice catch right there near the wall, and you have to use everything available to you. Know when your feet leave the grass and hit the warning track. Also, when you're able to, use the bare hand to feel for exactly how close you are. And right there, perfect use of his instruments. Hayward stands in now and watches strike one. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. This could end it. Good job to fight that one off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a pop off. Arnato settles under it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals get a shutout on the mound. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.